Hi everybody, this is Linda. Welcome back to my kitchen. Pull your chair up. We're going to get started with a little different kind of uh, pinto bean that I'm going to do in my pressure cooker. I've got a ham hock in here and one cup of chopped onions. We're going to do a pound of pinto beans and that is two cups. Wash them and pick through them for any beans that look different from the rest of them. You'll notice, you'll know which ones. And uh, I'll show you one just so you'll know. You see how funny that bean looks? It just doesn't look like the rest of them. It's shriveled up and funny looking. So I, I picked quite a few out already. So that's two cups of beans that I have washed and sorted through and uh, and that's all I've done to them. Now, alright, we got the ham hock. We have got the two cups of washed pinto beans. They haven't been soaked, but you can soak yours. We got the cup of onions, and this is four cups of a chicken broth. And this is, now this is not Rotel brand, but this is the equivalent of a mild can of Rotel with chilies. That's going in there. Now, we got more to this meal. This is a country meal today, but we're going to do our pinto beans like this, and of course we'll let Sam taste them. So all I'm going to do, now I have real hard water here where I live, and I have to cook my beans longer. So I'm going to cook these beans about 55 minutes, but um, um, you go by the what how long it takes beans to cook in where you live so I would say 35 to 40 and we'll be back all right I meant to tell you do not salt your beans if you salt your beans before or while they're cooking uh, it causes the outer skin to get tough and separate from the rest of the bean and you don't want that and this is about a half a teaspoon of cumin and that is the only seasoning at this point <clears throat> that I'm going to put in and um, you know when you put your lid on when you put your lid on make sure that this right here is in the sealed position and um, set your timer and we'll be back. Alright guys, our pintos are done and, and they're just perfect. Two cups of pintos and four uh, cups of, and I used chicken broth and the little can of the off-brand Rotel with the one cup of chopped onions and a little bit of cumin and I waited till they were done to salt them and they did need a little salt. So I'm gonna fix Sam a plate and I have some other things over here that he's never had before but we're gonna introduce them to him. Well now I've had potatoes before haven't ever had them fixed like this. Well, that's, that's true. Right. And I've had collard green. This is our country meal. Because this is truly a country meal here. This is the way we eat in the South. Yeah. Alright, Sam. 
collards, potatoes, pinto beans, and cornbread. I think we've got a scallion in there, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Now I asked him if he wanted his pintos on a in a bowl, but he doesn't, so we're gonna put it on this plate for him. Yeah, I'm not particular. I, as long as they get in my stomach, I don't care. There's a little piece of that ham hock. Alright, that's the pintos and they're just done to perfection. Here's the uh, cornbread, which I love. Seasoned collards. And these are potatoes that are fixed a little different. They've got a can of cream of uh, chicken soup in there with a little rosemary, a little garlic, a little onion. <clears throat> and just cook that way. Now you can use any cream soup, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, any cream soup you want. And he's going to taste all this. I sure am. I'm going to put a little butter on my cornbread. Mmm, that cornbread is very moist as it is. Okay. Mmm. The, bean, the pintos are very, very good. I don't think you can get them any better. You can't taste the rotel, but it's... No. Uh, I wouldn't know it had rotel in it if you hadn't told me. Well, it's actually Aldi's brand. But, man, these potatoes, I really like these potatoes this way. If any of y'all haven't cooked these potatoes this way, you ought to. They're very, very good. I don't know what you call them, but... I don't have a name for them. Not a name, but it... That's one of... This is one of the ways my mother used to fix potatoes. You'd really enjoy the potatoes. Now, the collard green... Well... Yep, they're very good too. Very good meal. The cornbread, y'all know it's always delicious. She makes exceptionally good cornbread. And the butter's melted on it now, so. Mm -mm. Well, all right, guys. I'm going to kind of swing over there so you can see Sam uh, plate. Not Sam. He doesn't want to be on camera. But there's his play. Well, I should have been a movie star, but I was camera shy. You were. <laughs> These potatoes, respect, and the pen, all of it's delicious, but I haven't have, ever had potatoes fixed this way. They are delicious. You like that? I do like that. Mm -hmm. Very good meal. All right, guys, thank you for coming in today and spending a little bit of time with me. I always appreciate it. Try some of this stuff. You'll like it. It's a good old country meal. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. It only takes a minute. And until next time, you all take care and God bless.